Now, our first guest today has been a professional musician and composer for 20 years. And during that time, Greg Fraser has pretty much done it all. He's open for acts like Rush and Kim Mitchell and Rick Emmett. But he's also put his talents down on plastic. The latest CD is called Making Waves. And Greg joins us now to tell us all about it. Welcome, Greg. Hi, Bob. 20 years, you're just a kid. You must have started when you were five or six years old. Well, pretty it? darn young, yeah. Oh, I, I, I had a, a good jump start into the business, for yeah. sure. What attracted you to the uh, guitar rather than piano? Because you're serious about your music. Well, yeah, I, I like to think so. Anyway, while my mother was a musician, she played guitar and violin and piano. And uh, I inherited her guitar, actually. And I just sort of kept the uh, music going, mm -hmm. I guess. Now, in London, which incidentally is one of my favorite cities, I used to live there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I worked at CKSL. As a matter of oh, boy, okay. You know, when it first opened. Okay. That was a couple of years ago. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Two years. Um, and uh, I just love that city. Pretty girls and pretty trees. That's mm -hmm. what, I, what I think of when I think of London. Right. But uh, you, that's your hometown. You do a lot of teaching down there? Yes, or? I do, actually. Music instruction, and also I'm promoting my album and doing mm -hmm. uh, dates around. I'm actually from Niagara Region originally. Oh, too. really? Where? Mm -hmm. uh, Font Hill. Oh, I know Font Hill. Marilyn uh, Stewart, the famous golfer, was yes. from Font Hill. Yes, she was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bought my last car in Font Hill. <laughs> I know all about Font Hill. Okay, what are we going to hear today, Greg? Well, this is a, a tune called Ravar. It's actually uh, it was named after um, an alias my mother used to use when she painted. Mm -hmm. And it's found on my Making Waves CD. And it goes something like this. That's so pretty. Well, thank you very much. That was just so enjoyable. God, I wish I could pick like that. I just whack and strum around the kitchen table. Bash. Yeah, bash and sing a little Hank Williams. But uh, that's wonderful. Now, uh, uh, you're going on tour. You have the band with you? Uh, yes, I have a four-piece mm -hmm. band. And actually, we're playing in the London New Arts Festival, mm -hmm. which is sort of London's uh, celebration to the arts. It uh, runs from September 28th to October 1st. We're playing October 1st, the Sunday evening, at the Century Theatre on... Dundas Street, right in downtown London. Okay, that's uh, the Century Theater, Dundas Street, October... 1st? 1st. 8.30 p.m. 8.30 p.m. for Greg Fraser, and thank you so much for coming in. I'm going to come down to London and take some lessons from you. Oh, please do. All right, Greg Glad Fraser. Glad to see you. 
Now, his Frampton Comes Alive record is still the best-selling live album of all time. 15 million copies sold worldwide. And now, at age 45, British rock star Peter Frampton is set to release Frampton Comes Alive 2, a sequel to the original. Global's Elaine Loring met with Frampton during a promotional stop in Toronto, and she has this report. Frampton came out for a meet and greet. Welcome back to 1 O'Clock Live. Here in the city of London this weekend, we have something going on called the New Arts Festival. One of the people who is a performer in that joins us right now. He's actually been on the program before playing his uh, guitar. Greg Fraser, how are you? Fine, Danny. How are you today, Bruce? N I, I said it in the beginning, a New Arts Festival. I mean, an arts festival, I understand, but what New Arts Festival mean? Well, it's basically London's own celebration of the arts, which includes a lot of, uh, well, a wide variety of different art forms, with, from theater to music to poetry, uh, and just a, a nice uh, combination of everything, all, it, in, all in the don, downtown London core. I was going to say, it's not a bunch of stuff that's happening in one place. You have no, to no. Like, travel around at different venues. What, yes. what venues are we talking about here? Where's this going? Well, it's, you know, 99 King Street, uh, Century Theater, um, 99 King is a restaurant, by That's the way. That's right, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of where else now. Who's on at 99 King? Um, geez, I'm not we'll sure. We'll check the notes here. Yeah. Uh, what, uh, let me ask you, where are you performing? Well, I'm, per I'm performing at the Century Club, which was the Century Theatre Ryan Dundas Street. Ryan Dundas, right. Uh, Sunday night, October 1st, mm -hmm. with the Jeff Johnson uh, Symphonic Express. Mm -hmm. And I'm performing there with my four-piece band. Mm -hmm. And we'll be doing some, basically, uh, stuff off the album I released last year, Making Waves, and some new material. All right. Mm -hmm. Actually, we had you in this morning, uh, you with Peter Brennan, Peter Brennan yeah. to play a piece of music for us to give you some indication of what the music will be like at the New Arts Festival. So tell me about the piece that we're going to hear right now. Well, this is a new song of mine called Manifesto, which will be on my upcoming album in January. Mm -hmm. This is a, sort of an unplugged acoustic version of it. It'll, it'll be a little more electrified when, uh, when it's out, actually, on CD. All righty, Greg Fraser and Peter Brennan. This is called Manifesto. That is called Manifesto, 
and uh, Greg Fraser is the man who, who wrote that, performed it with Peter Brennan mm -hmm. right there. Um, when people go and see you, for example, when you're going to be in concert, you said you right. have a four-piece band with four -piece you. Four-piece band, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And what would people expect to hear from you? Well, something a little bit louder than that, I guess. It's, uh, <laughs> it's electrified, sort of like uh, along the lines of Jeff Beck or Joe Satriani. It's instrumental uh, pop rock guitar. Yeah. And uh, like on, the, on um, the recordings, I do a fair bit of acoustic work here and mm -hmm. there, but live it just doesn't... Uh, doesn't cut it sometimes, you know. So the New Arts Festival basically gives you uh, another venue or another avenue to exhibit your material. Exactly, yeah. yeah I, along with several other London artists like uh, Romeo Blanco and uh, Brent Jones and Red Fishy Winds, you mm -hmm. know. So it's, uh, it, it's, it's uh, a way of supporting uh, artists of, of a wide variety other than just music, of course. Yeah, there's stuff for kids, too. You're seeing it Saturday yes, Saturday tomorrow is, with Kids Day. Yes, Kids Day, uh, sponsored by McDonald's. Ooh, and, they'll like that. Oh, oh yeah. And they'll also be holding uh, auditions for the up upcoming performance of the Nutcracker Suite. Isn't that kids? fabulous? Yeah. Well, no matter where you live in southwestern Ontario, come and join us this weekend. There's lots of fun to be had for the New Arts Festival happening all over downtown London all weekend long. And Greg, thanks for being here. No problem, Bruce. Continued success. We'll see you again. Thanks very much. All right. We're going to do some more music in just a second here. Remember a while ago we had Michelle Wright on the program? We're going to revisit that in just a second and talk with Michelle Wright when we come back on 1 o'clock live. <laughs>